It's my birthday! Pineapple is better than lemon. Guys, I'm in Barcelona. <laughs> Ooh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I found Sandra. <laughs> we're out here. <laughs> we're in Barcelona. We're still in the airport. There's a lot going on. Um, haven't figured out what's what, where's where. Um, yeah, we made it. I'm excited. I'm wearing my Barcelona skipper. You know what I'm saying? You know, but they will, you won't be able to see. It's actually a set, but maybe later. Now <laughs> it's you time to, to find. No, to help your people see it. It's okay. All it is. <laughs> We've got our travel passes. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't expect to hear music. We've got our travel. I was about to start it. Do do We've got our travel passes. Seventy-two hours. We've got the seventy-two hour pass, which should cover us for the next couple of days. Um, winging it slightly, but yeah, this should suffice. Can I just say, I love the functionality of this camera because it's zooming into the travel pass. Anyway, I'm flustered, it's hot. Sandra, where's your travel pass? Behind my phone, <laughs> not taking chances. Yeah, I should also probably put mine away and keep it safe, but we're waiting for the train now. Waiting for the bus to take me to the Airbnb and then hopefully things will make sense. I would just like to state categorically that I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm just trying to find my way to the city center. Um, hopefully, um, luckily for, for me, City Mapper, which is the navigation app in London, works in Barcelona. So far, so good. So yeah, all changed and stuff, ready. I uh, forgot to show you guys my Barca kit. Ish. Anyways, the train, I don't know if it's a train or a bus. So we're not going. Ish. Okay, so I'm just trying to tie my shoes. It's hot, it's humid. I forgot to be sunscreen, but um, City Map is helping me navigate. I think that's the train coming. Yes. Barcelona, Yeah, that's my train. Dia dos. Cutting your hair. Okay, where was I? <laughs> Ooh, oh, guys, it's hot. Barcelona is hot. Um, I think it's like 31 degrees or something. Let me check. Um, 
I need to get off. I need to get off after three stops, Garcia. Is it show me? City Mapper is the girl. So yeah, it's hot. It's really hot, but I'm navigating my way around the tube and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm about to meet a friend of mine for lunch. Um, and then yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, it's really, really hot. Um, if I just look at what the weather is, um, it's scorching. But I'm excited to be here. I think it takes me a while generally to get my bearings. It's 30 degrees. It's really hot, it's really humid. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like for the week, I guess. Um, but yeah, still looking forward to it. I wish I'd worn sunscreen. Um, but. Traveling, travel really needs you to be wide awake um, at all times. Like you can't, you can't get distracted because you know. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna meet with my friend. We're gonna do lunch. Maybe we'll do a bit of exploring if there's time. I'm grateful to actually know someone in the city for a change because it does get overwhelming. Saint Gervasi. So I'm just checking the name of the station. I have to get off at the next one. Gracia. And I'm thrilled to be here because my inner child is just like, hey girl, this has been a lifelong dream. But it's still sinking in. I think um, I always need a, like a little a little bit of time just to figure out my bearings, just to get my bearings before I'm fully like, okay, this is happening. So yeah, a lot's going on, but I'm happy. It's my birthday tomorrow. Um, excited and then yeah it's gonna be exciting it's gonna be awesome and yeah we're vlogging we're vlogging possible <laughs> So this is pineapple and lemon, lemon, I think. Pineapple is better than lemon. The gelato what? is better than, no, Italy's gelato is better. Somebody finished his gelato in like five minutes, Man. but I don't judge. It'd be gone, gone. It's cold. Oh, this is Italian. Mm. All the way to Barcelona to buy Italian gelato. You know what? I mean, Catalan is basically a mix of Spanish, French, and Italian. So. Catalan is a mix of Spanish, French, and Italian. You heard here first. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That is all. The pineapple bangs. Bangs.
I am stuffed. I'm happy. I'm full. I'm just walking because that's the only way that I can burn off all these calories that I just ate. So I had gelato. I had, okay, to be fair, I had a Caesar salad. Um, salmon tartare. I had dessert. Like, so far the food's been good. Um, day one, amazing. Saw a few milestones as well. So that was quite nice. Really loving the city so far. Um, it's also, I feel like Barcelona is like easy to navigate as well. Like it's a very walkable city, which is always a bonus for me because I like to, able to be able to just walk everywhere. Like right now it's 15 minutes back to the Airbnb, which is fabulous because yeah, I'd much rather walk so I can see the city than take the train. Um, and there's really, really nice scenery as well to enjoy. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking, take it all in, go back and meet the girls back at the Airbnb, and then I think we'll see where the day takes us. But yeah, it's been a really good day. Um, just as a first day intro into the city, saw a couple of miles, so stones, Sagrada Familia, you know, the famous, you have to start with the famous things. So I feel like it's been a good day. Um, excited for tomorrow, tomorrow's my birthday. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a really good day. I am still learning how to use this camera, so I'm hoping that you guys can hear me. But yeah. organic and then this one organic calcium oats this one is oh I don't know what's the difference I don't know what's the difference between these two milks bio bio ave I'm going to ask them what's the difference because Avia Calcium Oats Organic Avia I don't know what this is Oh my gosh, it's such a struggle I don't know what's the difference between these two One, both of them are organic but I think I just need to ask Okay, let's go ask her what the difference is between the two oat milks because nobody knows what the difference is so we're just going to ask nobody's here oh. hola hola what's the difference between this what's the difference between this one and this one is it the same same which one which what's What's the difference? Avena. Calcium. Calcium. This one has more calcium. calcium. Normal. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. Calcium. Okay. Para los huesos. Calcium for bones. Me. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Vlogging, we are hiking.
these markings and this should be one hour 35 and so it begins my friends we're here we're hiking we're fragile but we showed up it's so beautiful already so there's the village it's the birthday hike <sighs> It's my birthday! Yay! It's my birthday hike. Ooh. The girlies are taking some views of the village. <laughs> oh wow, it lasted a year. This is no blessing. Yeah. Blessings on blessings. Blessings on blessings. Blessings on blessings. It's raining a bit drizzly, but we are gonna finish strong. We're gonna finish what we started. It's not raining too much, hopefully, it stays like this. And then we're gonna get to the top and see what's waiting there. Sweating so much. We made it. There's the cable car place. So we've decided we're gonna take the cable car down because we are strong independent women, but we also know our limits. <laughs> um, yeah, that was a good hike. Really exhausting, but really worthwhile. You'd have seen from the views that this is quite a steep hike, lots of uphills. I would say it's not the most difficult I've done, but it's definitely up there. Challenging. Yeah.
morning guys i am um, i'm exhausted it is friday today it is just after eight i think um i feel like i haven't done a proper chat on here like a proper heart to heart um it's just been get up and go get up and go every single day um since we landed so the girls have on have like gone on to take um the next journey like the next part of the journey um so i'm the only one that's in the airbnb now um and i am about to go down for breakfast i'm wearing a dress today mm -mm -mm -mm. so yeah it's been really hectic so i feel like i haven't even done a proper chat on the vlog i don't even know if there's stuff on here to vlog but I've, I've had my camera with me and i've taken bits um so yeah you would have seen the activities throughout the week um tuesday landed did some exploring wednesday was the hike which was amazing thursday um was when what happened on the thursday yesterday <laughs> guys the days are merging because we're so sleep deprived um the days are merging uh kayaking yes that's it kayaking and then we went to um have a meal and look uh walk around the seaside town which is la barceloneta nailed it uh walked around the seaside town um yeah had a bit of a stroll had some good food so it's been it's been amazing um i just feel like now um today's the best day to just wind down do a bit of touristy things my flight is in the evening so i have a bit of time to kind of like um explore a little more at a slower pace so actually today is the day where i get to like do what i wanted to do in barcelona what i've always wanted to do like my inner child is like babes when are we going to the stadium when are we going to camp no so that's what we're doing um yeah i'm going to camp no and then hopefully get to do other bits there's a museum that i want to check out um but yeah i don't even know i feel like i am being over ambitious with the time that i have left um but yeah i'm excited also a little bit annoyed because i lost my 72 hour travel pass so what i usually do when i'm in europe um i usually get a 72 hour travel pass to cover my transport but i lost it and so i have to pay for transport again um which is a little bit of an inconvenience um but yeah but yeah it's fine we move um that's that's the thing right some of these things you can never preempt but yeah a little bit annoyed with myself but it's the morning it's a new day new strength why do i look so yellow i don't know i think it's just the lighting here but yeah i'm really excited um it's been a really good stay in barcelona really good memories with friends um i'm on my own now back on my own so i'm gonna just wing it solo vacay style back to regular programming and um, yeah i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited also while i get ready a few thoughts um maybe i'll do a, a longer video um so I realized I love traveling with friends, but I also like traveling by myself. Like I, I think a good mix is necessary because when you travel with friends, um, there's always someone that's like, like better at something than you are. Some friends are better at navigating. Some friends know how to find cool spots. Some friends just like know how to like get around the city or like speak to the locals and things like that. So. I appreciate that from group trips because you really you really like get to see everyone in their element which is nice um, and I also uh, like a solo vacay because it pushes you out of your comfort zone so you start to see where you lack in certain areas and where you have to push yourself you know um, so yeah not gonna do too much makeup but I just want to brighten up my face because I feel like I look tired um, yeah i like what i like a recent purchase is this hopefully it zooms in this camera is supposed to zoom in i don't know why it's not zooming in there we go so this is a recent purchase it's like a maybelline four in one so it's literally got primer powder concealer and bb cream i mean this is all you need on holiday because i didn't want to clutter i came with a small bag on holiday so i didn't want to clutter it 
Um, so yeah, that's just some thoughts. How I'm feeling about, you know, life at the moment. Oh yeah, did I mention it was my birthday? That's why we're here. Okay. Cool. Time for breakfast. myself for having to buy this kid yo my heart but anyway it's fine charge it to the game in it
a cab now on the way to the Isabella's house which is where I'm staying and then the airport the danger is that I'm running extremely late um, I I'm actually really nervous if I miss if I miss this flight I'm in deep trouble so yeah as much as I had a great time at the art gallery I didn't anticipate that it would take me this long to go back to the hotel to get my bags and then to go to the airport but um, my cab driver is really nice and he's um, offered to just like wait for me when I while I pick up my bags and then go straight to the airport like I'm stressed I'm really stressed because I I tie everything was timed but I think that when I checked again to go back to the hotel it was like an hour and then on the train it's another hour to get to the airport and I was like there's no way I literally have um, to get there in the next hour or so for me to check in to, for me to like board and all that stuff so I'm quite nervous um, but yeah I'll end the vlog once I know that I'm in the plane because things are a bit shaky I made it. We thank God. I made it. I think, in my defense, I, when I initially checked, it was 20 minutes to the Airbnb and then 20 minutes to the airport. So 40 minutes traveling time in total. And then when I looked again after the museum, it was double, not even double, like, triple that so that means it would have been an hour to the hotel and then an hour to the airport via train you I wanted to scream luckily my cab driver was like look I'll take you to the Airbnb I don't know if it's an Airbnb or a hotel because the vibes were hotel vibes but we got it on Airbnb you know um, so my cab driver was like I'll take you to your Airbnb and then I'll wait for you outside and then I'll take you to your to the airport luckily and he's very street smart so so I'm in the lounge now I've got a couple of minutes to spare in the lounge because I had to change I was wearing a, a dress I was a city girl <laughs> um, yeah what's the lesson here um, I don't know because do I regret what I did I think next time I'll be better with time or not squeeze too much activities on the day of departure um, but I really wanted to see the museum <clears throat> I didn't get a chance to see Picasso museum but I got a chance to see um, the other Moko museum the contemporary museum and I love contemporary art like I love street art I love modern art I know it's like Banksy Warhol you know so I yeah <laughs> I don't know if I have regrets. I just want to time things better next time. Um, but yeah, it's been a really good day. Today I was a tourist. Um, I got to like live my dream of going to the stadium, and it was so so surreal. Like I was so emotional at the stadium. I don't even know why. Um, but yeah, Barcelona's been amazing. I have to come back. I always say that after going anywhere, I have to come back. It's just been. Yeah, it's just been phenomenal. So, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here um, because I made it to the airport. I'm really happy, um, and I met, I was you know able to go and see and explore all the places I wanted to um, explore. So it's been a really, really, really great birthday week. I'm exhausted, but also really happy. Um, yeah. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching my travel vlogs. I really appreciate the support. Um, and yeah, I already know the next destination. And I'm so excited. I know I don't look excited, but I'm really excited. All right. Bye.